What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make yuca con mojo two ways. We're going to be making it Cuban style and Dominican style and this should come as no surprise since a lot of you guys know that I'm half Cuban and half Dominican. I'm also obsessed with yuca and I am team yuca all the way. I actually like yuca just a little bit more than platano but that's not to say that platanos aren't life because they definitely are. I'm curious to know who's team yuca with me so comment below and let me know if you are team yuca or team platano. Now, regardless of how you make the yuca, whether you're making it the Cuban style or the Dominican style, just know that both ways are super delicious, super easy to make, and they pair nicely with some of my favorite proteins like masita de puerco, longaniza frita, or my personal favorite with some fried salami and fried eggs. It is so delicious. Like always, stay tuned until the very end of the video where I'll be sharing my tips and tricks to helping you get this dish right each and every single time. Let's go ahead and get started. Making yuca con mojo is really easy. And regardless of which style and which recipe you make, just know that it's going to be super delicious. So first things first, this is optional, but when preparing your yuca, I like to take out the vein. And this vein goes down the center of the yuca, and it's really easy. You just wanna take a paring knife or any knife that you're comfortable using and just take it out because this is going to make for a much more pleasant eating experience. But as I mentioned before, this is optional and this is something that you can take out once the yuca is cooked. So once we've prepped our yuca, we're gonna go ahead and place it into a pot and then we're going to add enough water so that it covers the yuca completely. And we need to flavor our yuca, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add two healthy pinches of kosher salt and then we're going to set our flame to high and we're gonna boil the yuca until it reaches the tenderness that you like. Now you can have it a little bit on the harder side or the softer side and it's totally up to you. So while the yuca is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to prepare our Cuban mojo by adding some freshly chopped garlic to a bowl of onions and then we're gonna squeeze some fresh lemons. Now preparing the mojo like this in a bowl beforehand is totally optional. You can also cook the mojo as you go in a saute pan. I personally like to do it like this simply because I like to pickle the onions just a little bit with some lemon juice and I also make sure to add a pinch of kosher salt. Now letting it sit for 10 minutes is going to make sure that your mojo is nice and flavorful. And after those 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna warm up our skillet on a medium flame and then we're going to add some oil. And once that oil is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna saute the mojo and you're going to saute it for a few minutes until the onions are nice and soft. Now I personally like for my onions to have a little bit of a bite, so I don't cook them too long and I make sure not to burn the onions or the garlic because once you burn the garlic, it's gonna take on a bitter flavor. So once that mojo is done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drizzle it over top of our freshly made yuca. And you wanna make sure to make this as you're going to eat it because you definitely want to enjoy this as it's warm and you wanna be very generous when it comes to that Cuban mojo. And now we're going to prepare our Dominican mojo. And just like the Cuban mojo, we're gonna pickle it just a little bit by adding some white vinegar and a pinch of salt. And after about 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set the flame to medium and we're gonna warm up the skillet and then we're going to add some oil. And once the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add the onions, vinegar, and salt. But you definitely wanna be careful because this does have the tendency to pop just a little bit. Now, these are the same onions that you pour over when you have mangu, so you know it's super tasty. And just like the Cuban mojo, we're just gonna cook the onions until they're nice and soft, but not too soft because you definitely want them to have a little bit of a bite. And once the onions are ready, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour it all over the yuca. And just like the Cuban mojo, you wanna be super generous when it comes to adding 
the onions to the warm yuca because the yuca is actually going to soak up all of that beautiful and awesome flavor. So there you guys have it. That's how you make yuca con mojo two different ways. You have a Cuban style and a Dominican style. Comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. And until next week, I'm Chef Z y buen provecho. All right, guys, here are my quick tips and tricks to helping you get this yuca con mojo perfect each and every single time. For my first tip, feel free to saute the mojo as you go. And what I mean by that is, feel free to warm up the oil and then add the onions and the garlic or the vinegar, depending on which style that you're making, and your mojo is going to come out just as tasty. I personally like to mix everything in the bowl as I showed in today's video, because the vinegar and the lemon is actually going to pickle the onions just a little bit, as quickly as 10 minutes, and what you get is a mojo that is much more bold and vibrant in flavor. However, if you're short on time and you just wanna make it as you go, just know that's totally an option and it's still going to be super delicious. For my second tip, you can make the yuca as hard or as soft as you like it, and it is a personal preference. Listen, my mom likes her yuca a little bit on the harder side, and my fiance likes his yuca a little bit on the softer side. Me, of course, I like it somewhere in the middle, not too soft and not too hard. So in today's video, I actually boiled my yuca for about 30 minutes, and it's really easy. You just wanna keep an eye out and then drain the water once it reaches the tenderness that you like. For my third and final tip, it's really important that when you serve yuca, you serve it warm. Just like platano, when yuca gets cold, it gets hard and it's not that pleasant to eat. So I recommend that once it reaches the tenderness that you like, drain the water and then place it back into a bowl or the same pot that you were boiling it in and just cover it with a lid so that all the heat doesn't escape and it remains warm. So by the time you eat it, it is perfect. So there you guys have it. Those are my tips and tricks to helping you get this dish right each and every single time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to join the Chef Z family. And like always, come back next week when I have an all new video. If you need some inspiration on what to cook next, go ahead and click right here.